So all the panels are here, 12 panels, 320 watt solar panels multiplied by 12. 320 times 12 is going to give you approximately 3,870 kilowatt hours up here. So these ones are all going to be transformed into um, off-grid system. It's going to go all in the battery by God's grace. So we're hoping. So... Well, I'm not even sure yet uh, if we're gonna go with 12 or 24, uh, 24 volt, sorry, 24 volt or 48 volt system. You guys tell me what you think, and uh, I think 48 volts would be the best to go, but trying to keep these guys away from buying too much batteries to power the entire house. He has this panel, can power his entire house, okay? From the barn. From the barn. <clears throat> so, this is what we wanna do, and uh, Give me your thoughts uh, about this uh, entire thing. So those two panels, like the last two panels is clean right there. They tied out with the ones on the right two uh, last ones to go on one controller. Okay, to a great, great tight inverter. It'll be interesting to see what those four panels produce as opposed to four on one side and four on the other. Facing on the same direction. Yep, facing the same direction. Whether, whether they'll catch up, whether there'll be more, it'll be interesting. Yeah. Well, we'll see how things go because um, it will never ca ca uh, cut up because of uh, 12 something, 1200 and uh, uh, 1,332 1, kilowatts minus 876 kilowatt. So you talking about uh I'm just thinking about about three three thousand something difference here. Yeah. I'm just thinking about catch up as far as whether these four panels during the course of the day will produce as much as equivalent four to on this one side or those four on that side accumulate as much as having two on one side, two on the other. I don't know. We'll yeah. Well if it was on uh, a serious parallel it will work because during the morning hours, this one will catch up, you know, for when, like if it's a, we tie them in twos going on the batteries. So those two is a separate thing. Those two covered, those two still going to work. So if two covered from here from snow dust, those other ones are down. So <laughs> let's see, we can see maybe uh, around the fall when I got off on vacation, I will stop back and sign to see, read the numbers, what I have right now here from the video. And the numbers that uh, we already have, if you see um, any, any, <laughs> if they're trying to cut up, but it's not easy because these ones are facing, some of them are facing dead one angle and other ones are all the other angle. So those are the two that's gonna be, be really interesting to see. <laughs> it's gonna be really interesting. But uh, so far, so good. I think we're still going to do fine. It's pounding on each. Instead of this waking up uh, around getting the sun directly into this, producing the power. And this one's going to be during the day, in the morning hours, where by the time they uh, wake up, those two already started producing to compensate with those. By the time it hits there, well, it's still going to be fine. Okay, Martin, it's going to save you. Let's go. So, we got to go now. The panels are kind of a little bit... Uh, clean as Clem said it's clean <laughs> For me, I would have scrubbed them, but this is the way is a year you never wash them So they just took a dusty just like dusting them off. It's not scrubbing them. It's not taking a bath They took a shower Just a shower. Look at that water. It's dirty Yeah, well anyway, this is the distance here. Look at the farm over there. Look how the clouds are all dark <clears throat> the sun is right there and it's going to be pounding on these panels right here this array is going to be doing pretty good which is the one with the, the highest number 1808 still going to do it and the other ones over there those two is interesting to see but we don't want to take all these railings here and screw them which we're still going to be keeping these rails here and put four panels here for the next um those are the ones going to be feeding. We're taking two inverters off the grid and put them off grid to go on the batteries. All these three arrays going to go, these three arrays here is going to go on the batteries. 12 panels, 3,870 watt approximate is going through the batteries while we're going to be setting up 
four other panels here get rid of the two uh, 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 grid tight inverters and one is gonna stay to cover up this one just to compensate for the house if he's trying to charge the batteries on bad weather so he can just borrow 100% from the grid if uh, he's borrowing like a maybe say a 1200 from the grid then he can able to um, he can able to uh, uh, take probably if the panels are producing a five or six hundred watt so he's borrowing only six hundred watt from the grid that's the, this is the entire plan so the pond and everything is going to go through these panels here but this one's going to stay deadly for batteries it's going to stay there so those two panels crisscross they have a plan so it's going to be these panels are 46.7 volts each at uh, 8 point something to 9 amps so if we tie them in twos or in threes depends to the uh the 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 charge control i'm going to be using and it's still going to be perfect for 24 volt and even a 48 volt because those two panels are going to be bringing you very close to 96 volt 96 volt and we're going to be bringing more amps okay all right from st croix trail jw solar usa